clear a choke bottle trap for this basin. What you require is only a plier, a few rubber bands and a plastic bag that is not leaking. Let's test whether this plastic bag is leaking or not. Okay, it's not leaking. Let's use this plastic bag. First of all, put a rubber band around here so that it has got friction. You can open this easily. Put a plastic bag here so that it will store the water from here without messing the whole place up. There, all the dirt will be here. Just put it back so that I can remove the bottle trap. Loosen these three nuts here. One, two, three. Anyone in no no proper sequence, just loosen it. Just loosen this. Loosen this. Loosen the top one here. Once you loosen the top one, you can just push it down. You get clear off from here. And here it's loose already. You can just turn it and you can just move this out of the way, loosen further and bring the whole bottle trap out. You can use the plier to clear up all this dirt here. Make sure that uh, all this rubber is still there so that when you put it back, it won't be leaking. Let's go and wash this whole bottle trap up. Rubber seal is still here, so just put it back just so that it doesn't drop off. Okay. To put back, just go back from here again, the reverse way, push it back in, make sure the thing can go underneath this. Slightly tighten this nut a little so that it doesn't drop off. Same thing to install this one up here first. Make sure that the track sits properly because this is metal, this is PVC. So you have a chance of having a cross track. So make sure it's sitting properly first before you screw it up. Once you screw it up, don't have to screw all the way yet, don't over tighten yet, then Push this down and lock this nut. Close this nut. Okay, they're all in position. This is all tighten up. Then you can start to tighten all the nuts up. Tighten this one first before you tighten this. This is still loose, yeah? Tighten, then you tighten. This is the last to be tightened. Okay. Okay, to test for any leakage, just to clean it up first. Use a paper towel to clean it up. 
check and make sure there's no leakage. Run the tap. Use a clean, dry piece of paper towel to test to see whether there's any leaking or not. If there's no wet spot on the paper towel, that means there's no leak. Let's go through. It's dry, there's no leakage.